Hey there, Capricorn. Hope you guys this weekend has been great to you guys. Appreciate you guys as always. Let's find out what we got going on and what's coming out for you guys is highest good. This is for my beautiful sign of Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn. Come on, Capricorn, please. What do they need to know for the highest good? Capricorn, thank you. I got romance here. We've got longing. One more. One more. Thank you. Spying. So we got somebody that's really keeping a close eye on you. Some of you guys could be entertaining somebody new. There's something about your romance life that's definitely drawn here to me so you could have like if you're posting things in a spotlight there could be like a new energy watching you and clearly a past energy here somebody is very like this is energy that's longing for you they want this is like like blah, blah, blah. i can't even talk like this person's anxious like this is someone that doesn't even know how to approach you and this person's worried about you having someone else there's something about better choices coming in for you this person gets very nervous watching you. I can feel their energy. It could be a new person I'm picking up on as well. But whoever it is, like, you make people nervous, Capricorn. All right, I see you. What's the overall energy for Capricorn? Growth. Uh-oh. Ruh-roh, -ruh, Raggy. So somebody didn't want to see your growth. That's why somebody nervous. Because they, they see and you outgrow them. They're like, who the heck is this person? That's who we are now. We're expanding our consciousness and our awareness. We have grown around this mother effer. How you like it? It's beautiful, ain't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> this is someone that hasn't been making moves like you have. Your growth scares people, man. We're going to leave that in reverse. So somebody's scared, nervous. They can't believe what they're seeing. They're like, who is this person? It's beautiful sight, isn't it? Yes, it is. And this is because you had the courage to face that that uh, fear with confidence. This is about pulling yourself out of that darkness and stepping out of your comfort zones to make these changes here. You have so much strength, very courageous energy. That's why this person's nervous too. You're a force to be reckoned with. All right, I see you. I see you. This person hasn't made no changes in their life. They're, they can't stop watching you. There's just something about eyes watching you at this time. Like your growth intimidates people, man. Capricorn. My gosh. Hope is rising. Somebody's watching your hope rise. Like everything is looking up for you. And this person's like, they can't stop nervously watching here. Like, man. <laughs> this person never thought that they was going to see this this day. But it's here, sir, ma'am. It's here. So this person is like hoping that you're going to like come back to them. There's something about your hope and faith rising like, also with love here, too. Like, there's something about you. Some of you guys are ready to go towards new things. Some of you guys could be putting yourself back out there. But there's something about you just really on this self-love journey that's going to open your heart space up and for new connections here. And this person's nervously watching. Your growth intimidates people, man. Starlight illuminates your struggle here. And you're not afraid to, like... Put your, like, what you've been through. You're not afraid of that. You don't run from your struggles. If anything, you take them head on. Like, this is someone that wanted to, like, focus on the bad things that you've been through. And you just, you're like, all right, you want to put that spotlight on me? All right, watch me. Watch me grow from this. Watch me learn from this. And that's what this person's doing. So this person really wanted, like, this person could have, like, brought, especially for my ones posting things in a spotlight, this person could have, like, brought a group of people to sit there and watch you and make fun of you and laugh at you. But... It ain't nothing to laugh at now because your growth is like shutting mouths, basically. Shutting people up. Like, the gossip, the slander. Like, people ain't got nothing to say anymore because, like I said, your growth is shutting people's mouths up. That's beautiful. Like, you don't hide your struggles. Like, you acknowledge them. That's how we grow and learn from them. So this person didn't realize how strong you are. And you're clearly showing them what time it is. Capricorn. And you are following your bliss here. Beautiful. As I follow my bliss, all doors open for me. Wonderful opportunities come my way. So well, this is about going down the right path for yourself. Finding what you want to do with life and just loving it. Moving forward. Doors start opening up for you. Opportunities start opening up for you. Career and love for you because you are following your bliss. You're following that path of growth and enlightenment. And that's what you've been doing. And this person's like mouth is wide open. Like, close your mouth, ma'am or sir. Like, this is who we are. So... You're following your bliss. Beautiful. And you're trusting in that divine timing. I am patient. I trust that events will unfold at the precise moments they are meant to happen. Mm -hmm. So you understand the assignment. 
knowing that things are going to work out for you. And this is about just moving forward and loving your life and knowing that better things are coming. There's something about timing with this past person. They thought for sure that you was going to try to fix something by now and you clearly are not. So like there's, I keep, there's something about timing with this person. Like this person's trying to figure out the right time to come towards you, but they ain't going to ever find the right timing because your growth is like scary, man. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful thing. Keep doing that for yourself. You're compassionate too. That's what this person doesn't understand as well. I see the good in others and I help them see it in themselves. And this is somebody that clearly is watching you do this. Very compassionate, very loving, very nurturing, very empathetic. This is someone that didn't think that you were still going to be operating out of this beautiful energy. But that's who you are. This other energy, they're, they don't have this compassion like you do. For some of you, they thought it was your weakness. But it's clearly your strong suit. This person's spying, trying to figure out how to get you to... There's something about this person trying to like pull on your empathy and trying to make you, um, trying to do anything that they can to pull you backwards, but it's not working. That's why this one's just sitting and spying. Like, so if this person got, brought a group of people to watch you and try to hurt you, these people are now on your side here. So you're compa you're, what you went through only made you more loving here. That's a beautiful thing, man. I, we need more people like you. I love that. What needs to be surrendered for Capricorn, please? Thank you. Surrender frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma, a dilemma, a dilemma, or dissolving a block is to take a breath. Center yourself and regroup. You've been approaching things more calmly. You're not letting people frustrate you anymore. This person's frustrated with your growth. Oh, well. For some of you, more than one person in your life is frustrated with your growth. Again, oh, well. Get you some business. We're focused on improving our lives around here. That's why beautiful things are headed our way. So... This person did everything they could to try to frustrate you, and you've been laying it to rest. You're done. That's part of your growth. <laughs> the more that you move away and the more that you grow, the more that this person gets frustrated and beautiful. It is what it is mentality. you got to be careful who have a mindset like this because you could try to break us, and we'll, it is what it is. You can't break us. We just come back stronger. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, complacency. My this person's nervous, man. There's something with this person in there. They're, man. Accepting it exactly as it will will bring you peace. So this is about just releasing all of this. It is what it is. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to continue living my best life. I'm all about self-improvement and growth. So, and letting go of those resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. And that's what you're doing. Or this is what you're working through. I used to be a big grudge holder and I don't do that anymore. I don't give anybody the power over me to do that. It, it takes up time and space and my mind and my soul. I ain't doing that. Those are someone that wanted you to be resentful and angry. This person's got some kind of hate and resentment in their heart. They're mad at you that you're not holding any hate. Or just not giving them any, any attention. If you are holding on to any type of hate, you will get through that. If I can do it, you can do it. So... This is someone that's like a walking red flag, that umbrella. This is something about anger with this person and not letting this person anger you anymore. That's self-control right there, baby. All right. This person can't believe what they're seeing with your life here or hearing. I'm really picking up on somebody that's posting things in the spotlight, though. They can't believe what they're seeing. Talk about romance. Why is romance here? This is somebody that wanted you have a... A bad outlook on romance. Some of you guys are just not entertaining anybody right now. Like there's something about you having to find yourself and then when you're ready to go back out there. Some of you guys do have somebody new though. Or you're going on dates or you're just wanting to put yourself back out there. This is somebody that wants you to try to drop something. They don't want you to, to experience something better for yourself. This person thought they were going to run off and leave you behind. And they were going to have this romantic connection with someone else. But... Now they're looking back and seeing that you are over there evolving and growing. And they're like, wait a minute. So this is about leaving this person that tries to come back and love bomb you as well. Leaving them out in the cold. That's another reason why this person's spying on you. Because they know you're done. This is someone that likes to get a silent treatment for control. And they, they know that ain't going to work anymore. That's why they're watching you. Like this person's observing you right now. Tell me more about romance. This is somebody that's worried about you meeting somebody. Like, this is somebody that is really, like, this This person doesn't know if you have somebody new. Like, but they're, 
they know that you're a catch and they are so worried and stressed. A lot of you guys went through a lot of sleepless nights and stress dealing with this person. So if this person took off and left you, like, this is coming out to tell you what you got out of and what you're not missing with this past person here. It's like the, the tables are turning on this person. Because now they know somebody new is going to be showing up for you and they're panicking now. Very paranoid. Like this person tried to project that fear and doubt on you with, when it comes to love, but now they're the ones experiencing it. Forward movement. So some of you guys, I'm picking, I'm trying to get all of you guys covered when I do these reads, but some of you guys are moving on to better connections. This past person's trying to figure out how to come towards you. You've been making balances in all areas of your life. So the ones that do want love, you're ready for it. So if you want that for yourself, that's where our free will comes into play. So this is someone that wants to play the victim. So if this person tried to go somewhere else, like they didn't do good wherever they're at. And now they want to try to come back and play the victim. But this person's worried about have you having someone new. This person likes to play the victim. This person didn't expect for you to get up and, and keep fighting for yourself and moving forward. Like, you come back stronger every time. And now they're panicking. Now they're trying to figure out how to come toward you. This person did everything in their power to throw you off balance. You've been balancing everything out in your life. This is a non-committal energy. And you evolved into this energy. Beautiful. So new things headed your way. Some of you guys are putting your heart back out there, wanting better for yourself. You improved so much on your self-love journey. That's why you've evolved into this energy here. This is about attracting beautiful things towards you. Some of you guys may have more than one person interested in you, but just use your discernment when you open your heart back open to people. This past person's trying to get a new beginning. They burdened, man. Look at this. This person is so burdened right now because they know that you're a catch. They know that they fumbled an empress. So, yeah, they fumbled it. You've been laying the rest, the baggage and the burdens, not letting this person come in and love bomb you anymore. That's beautiful. Don't let them do that to you. Got your boundaries up. This is someone that knows that you're guarded. This is somebody that knows that you're not putting up with their bull crap anymore. So... This is somebody that knows that you've moved away. This is somebody that knows that you're now fighting for yourself. Like, you're not, not necessarily fighting for yourself, but you're just, you're moving differently now. Moving away from all this chaos and this drama. So this person could have, like, I keep getting, for some of you, this person ran off to another connection. And then they try to, like, block you out and, like, try to, like, push you away. And now, now you're moving away. Now they're panicking. Like, this person did everything in their power to try to gain some kind of control. And they did it by going towards another connection and trying to make you feel bad about yourself. Now the tables are turning. A lot of you guys have better connections headed your way. And now this person's panicking. Because when you're done, you're done. See where the difference is on that? Tell me about longing. So the more that you step into your growth, the more that this one longs for you. And this per person was doing things purposely. In their mind, they felt like if they ran towards someone else, like, they could keep you stuck. Like, like... It's all about control with this one. Like, they did everything in their power to, like, keep you hanging on to hope. Giving you the bare minimum. Giving you hope that the connection could change and do better. And now you're realizing that this person's full of crap and you've grown. Now they're panicking. Now they're the ones longing for you more. Time about longing. Tower. They cause a tower and then they take off. They don't take accountability. They thought for sure that you were going to be waiting around. You ain't waiting. You started growing and evolving here. So, this person didn't expect for you to build yourself back up stronger. And the more that you step into your growth, the more that this one longs for you. Like, this one's trying to figure out how to come towards you. Like, this is someone that gets angry. Like, there's something about the silent treatment with this person. Like, they use silence to keep, to control you. Yeah, with the strength, they, they purposely hold back from you. And they think that they can control you more by doing that. But now you've taken your power back. And now this person's wanting to try to come towards you with the quickness now. A quickness? A quickness now. So this is somebody that's like they're studying you and they're like trying to, to figure out the right moment to come in here with this tower moment. And like, I'm going to call it strike you because this person's dark, man. Hey, they're dark. How dare you move on? How dare you grow as a person? How dare you want better for yourself? That's what this person's mindset is. And what goes around comes around. I'm drawn to that infinity sign here. This person never thought that you was going to hold back. So ultimately the joke's on them. By them holding back to, from you has made you stronger. And now you're holding back and you're done. You mean business. And well, now they're panicking. They didn't, see, you've been loving yourself. You've not been giving this person access to you anymore. 
the more that you love yourself and the more that you grow, the more that this past person wants you back. So pour into yourself, love yourself, nurture yourself. And that's what you've been doing. They didn't want you to do that. They're heartbroken. And somebody definitely used, like this past person went towards somebody else to try to make you feel bad. They really wanted you to doubt your worth. They really wanted to like point you out as the bad guy. And you like, okay, you want to point me out as a bad guy? Watch me grow and elevate. Because when people try to to put blame on us and make us look out to be the bad guy, how does your life get better? Make it make sense. Your life is getting better. You're growing. You're evolving. So, you know, the truth always comes out regardless. So that's why we don't go backwards and try to get someone to see our side of something. Like, move forward and just work on being your, your best self. That is your ultimate revenge. So... This is somebody, and some of you guys, the tables are turning. Like, there's something about they're going to be on the outside looking in. Because they tried to, like, they, they wanted to use someone else to hurt you. And now it's like, okay, universe is like, all right, let me present somebody towards a Capricorn. Because they've been loving on their self. They've been nurturing yourself. Now they, they're they're ready for new. So, and this new energy, I feel like, is going to be showing up for some of you. And that's this person's karma here. They wanted you to be heartbroken, but you're loving yourself. That's beautiful. This person was already sleeping. Like this person, if there's something about this person thinking about you when they're sleeping with others, like that, okay? So this is somebody that's definitely thinking about you sexually. This is someone that sees that you have ignited your passion. You're moving forward. You're following your bliss. This is somebody that's been, man, this person's really thinking about you in the, the, the sexy time area, we'll say. This is somebody that's trying to figure out how they can sleep with you. Like, they feel like if they get you alone and they sleep with you, like, they'll have you where they want you. And this person automatically ran off when you guys broke up and was already sleeping with someone. If not, they, if they could have possibly been already sleeping with this person before you guys fell apart. So, and there's something about them doing that to try to gain control over you. I keep getting, who's a player? They run off too fast. They go towards something else. They didn't expect for you to take action on your life and move forward away from them. Now they're looking back and now they want you that much more. But oh well, this is a player player. We don't want the players. We're moving away from the players. See, now they're panicking because you've walked away. They didn't expect for you to walk away and be done. Now you've outgrown them. Like you don't look at them the same anymore. Now they're panicking. There's something about anger with this person. The more you walk away and... um. And they feel like if you still react, like you still cared, but there's something about you no longer reacting, not giving them any emotion, and that's making them freak out. Like you're just, you're chilling. You're minding your business and staying in your lane. And this person knows it, it's done. Like this person did try to do something to try to control you by using another person. I keep getting that with this read today. And it just blew up in their face. Like those tables are going to turn for some of you. You're going to have a new person show up. But you're a beautiful, authentic person, so they, they lost out, didn't they? Talk about spying here for Capricorn. Spying. So this person's trying to see if you're talking to anybody else. This person's been spying and watching you, even if they went towards somebody else. Like, this is someone that did everything they could to try to gain some kind of control, and they've always just kept you, like, kept an eye on you to see if that you stay put. This person is definitely trying to see if you're entertaining someone else, no doubt. This person is like, and there's something here about this person trying to like recruit more than one person to like, to, to gather up and bully against you or something or something about bullying with this person. So there's something about gossip and slander with this person with like more than one person was involved and they've all been spying here. And like I said earlier, when they're all mouth is open, like they, they ain't got nothing to say now. You're moving forward. You're 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 beautiful. Your growth says it all. Your growth, your character outweighs anything that was said about you. So, this person's trying to figure out the right words to say to you, because they see you celebrating life and they spying. And this person still could be entertaining someone else at this time, because there's still third party energy I'm picking up here, and they spying. They can't believe what they're seeing. You make people nervous, man. For some of you, it could be new people watching you too, especially if you're in the spotlight here. I'm picking up on somebody that's posting things in a spotlight and you've got eyes watching you, watching you do your thing, watching you evolve, watching you just being your authentic energy here. And this past person doesn't like that you're looked at in a good light, but oh well. Somebody thought they had you stuck at a crossroads and you're clearly going down that right path for yourself. 
That's why this person's carefully observing you because they're trying to figure out how they can sway you back down the path that leads to them, but you're long gone. You're on your journey here. And they definitely know that you're keeping your silence. And there's something about lies and secrets with this one. So this person's trying to figure out if you know certain things. This is someone that was trying to use a silent treatment to try to control you as well and it blew up in their face. Or something about your intuition. Like this person knows that you just know some things as well. Very selfish. This person's been watching you pour into yourself. Watching wish fulfillments head into your life. Like this person thought they was going to like create some kind of storm for coming for you. But all it did was like end up blowing up in their face. Yeah, blowing up in their face. Drama, chaos. This is someone that's mad that you're not entertaining the drama. Mad that you won't put up with their behavior anymore and this is someone that's jealous thinking about you being with someone new as well like make it make sense like you went towards someone else to try to make us feel a certain way and now you're worried about somebody new showing up for us no this person's all about conflict and chaos tell me about decision for capricorn okay so you're manifesting some things towards you at this time because you're definitely on the path for enlightenment following your bliss doing what you love you got everything that you need to to create the life that you want. And boy, you're doing that. You've done, you've taken all your experiences and all the struggles that you went through and you've really tapped into your growth and your potential. You transmuted that energy. Beautiful. Now you got this past person trying to come back and manipulate their way back in. This is an illusion maker that wants to try to sway you to choose them again. This person doesn't want you to see something for what it is. And this is about you seeing things with anybody that comes towards you, new or past, make sure that people are who they say they are because you don't want to fall back into the arms of another breadcrumber. So we have to learn from this that if we don't, we repeat it over and over again. Been there, done that, man. Like you literally date the same person in your past person's form, same outcome. So just make sure you're seeing something for what it is. This past person's trying to see if you are entertaining something new. And the past person doesn't want you to see something for what it is. There's something about your, your light that shows a darkness here. But this is a breadcrumb that you dealt with. It was one-sided. This is someone that depleted you. They definitely didn't want you to grow. And they definitely didn't want you to outgrow them. But boy, you definitely showed them what time it is. This person is like, there's something about these decisions, these these better choices in love, career, whatever you're trying to do in your life, that's what you got coming towards you. This person thought that you were going to try to make something right. They thought they had you stuck, like waiting, but you ain't waiting. You took your power back. And now they see you looking outward and going down your journey and now they're panicking. They're trying to get you to choose them. They feel like time is running out. There's something here about your emotions, being more reserved, making choices, not letting your heart space lead you. Even if new people come in towards us, don't let people manipulate you. Okay. This is about really holding back and just having that self-control. So there's something about not jumping um, right into new connections, like really le like leading with your heart space, but not letting your heart like clearly like not letting your heart lead the way a hundred percent like this is like balancing out your your mindset and your heart knowing that you've made the right choices and this is all areas of your life you know your career path you know doing things that you love and not letting that manipulation pull you backwards anymore because this past person wants to try to do that but some of you guys have a better choice in like a like a, there's something here about a, a mature person wanting to show up for you somebody that's got the same um, goals and wants the same things out of a connection as you do and this past person is like freaking out worrying that you have somebody new there's something here about the way that you show up in the home life you're very solid you're very responsible you take you handle your business here and this person was like all over the place reckless and you're like you're not you don't want nothing to do with the anything like of a chaotic connection anymore you're 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 done with that so somebody's got their stuff together. Like this is like for the ones that want new, like this is like a, an emotionally mature person that like that's two people that are like really holding it down together. Like they, they have the same view on a connection here. And then you've got this past person here trying to figure out how to have a, a conversation with you. This is, this is about you also clearly knowing what you're not going to put up with with any connection in your life. This is about cutting any type of connection that's hindering your growth here. 
This is being more logical. Because remember earlier when I said balancing out your emotion and your 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 mindset, like when you're making these decisions, not letting your heart letting your heart lead, but not a hundred percent. Like that's that fine line balance that I was talking about here. So when we, we go through some things, we understand what we don't want to put up with. So there's something about this past person trying to paint you out as cold and harsh. You know, when people, I used to have an ex that told me that I was the meanest girlfriend that he ever dated. And the only reason that he went around and told everybody that is because I wouldn't put up with his bull crap. And I made him hold, I held, make him hold accountability. And he clearly didn't want to do that. So, you know, it's like, whatever. If you want to say I'm mad, I'm an angry per whatever. I was mean then. So... This is cutting these connections off. Some of you guys have children. Some of you guys don't even want to have a connection with your past person if you do have kids. There's something here about wanting a healthy partner and like creating a healthy environment for your children, for the ones that have kids. And there's something about you protecting your inner child as well. There's some kind of past decision. There's something that you've manifested for yourself. And it's like it's showing up in your life now. But you really need to make sure that you're making the right choice for yourself because not all glitter that not all that glitters is gold here. So something here about you no longer repeating um something about past life as well as what I'm getting. There's something here about you just not operating with the way that you operated in your your past and then something about a past life connection I'm getting. There's something about you like not repeating lessons from a past life as well. So it's all about forward movement here. I've got earth, air, Scorpio, air, Leo, Fire, water, air, Virgo, Gemini, earth, and Virgo again. So better choices headed your way. But make sure that it is what it is. That, Like I just said, all that glitters isn't gold. Definitely better connections with a commitment department here. That's why this past person is trying to figure out how to get you back in a commitment with, with, with them. Mm -hmm. Trying to get you. They're reminiscing like they're brainstorming right now. Trying to present this perfect offer to try to, to get you to take them back and they really want to like focus on the good times that you two shared well this is someone that I'm telling you there's something about this person trying to like leave you behind to make you feel bad about yourself and all it did was blow up in their face they didn't expect for you to grow like you did well, this person's got some kind of abandonment issues and they thought for sure that you were going to be operating out of this if you're like me you used to have abandonment issues but we we acknowledge what we what's going on within us and that's where we the growth takes place so beautiful this person, this past person's got some kind of abandonment wound. And like I said, they thought that you were going to be still operating out of that, that lack mindset. And you clearly are not here. Like this person's panicking right now. Like they, they're nervous. Capricorn. Capricorn. This person's got a whatever attitude. Like I feel like this person doesn't even want to acknowledge what they've done to you. Like it's whatever. Like they don't care how they hurt people. Like, very compulsive energy, very neglectful. Like, this person didn't play their cards right when they tried to come for you because there's something about this person trying to leave you behind and make you feel bad about yourself that it just blew up in their face and now those tables are going to turn on this one. This person tried to walk away and make it seem like, oh, whatever. They, they're not a good person. They're this, they're that. And then for some way, this person tried to form a whole group to try to spy on you and, like, gossip and lie on you and... You know, it's just, again, I, I keep picturing people's mouths on the floor. Like, they got to pick their mouth up, their jaws drop. They can't believe what they're seeing with your life. This person's reckless. They don't they don't care what they do to people is what I'm getting off of this card. And you're attracting in the right people for you. You're attracting your tribe. There's something about past contracts being done and over with. You've learned from them. You're ready to move forward. That's why new contracts are coming in here for you. Attracting the right people. And somebody wanted you to be operating in fears and insecurities. Things are not what they seem. There's information yet to be revealed. I told you like earlier, there's something about this person wanting to know everything that you know. Like they're, they're trying to figure out what all do you know is what this one's doing. This person's got some kind of fear and, and, and insecurities when it comes to you. Because they didn't expect for you to grow the way that you have. Keep growing. Tell me more. Jealous. And they're jealous. So it's okay that they go take off and leave you behind and, and try to use someone else to hurt you. And, and how dare you do better? Like, how dare you open your heart back, open to some something new for some of you? Like, this is a jealous person. They don't want to share you. There's something about a new energy showing up for someone that's going to, like, like, they're going to honor you. They're going to, like, they're going to want the best for you. Like, it's like a protector, but not in a bad way. And then you got this past person that person 
purposely held back to try to get you to react and it didn't work the way that they wanted it to. There's something about your calm energy here. This person purposely holds back to try to get you to react. And like I said, it just blew up in their face. And you're still being called to hold back from anybody that tries to challenge your emotions. Hold back. Don't give people feed off of that. Don't give them that satisfaction of like showing them like you're upset. If you're like me and if I do get upset, I'll take my butt in the house and then I'll have my breakdown there. But you ain't going to see me break down. That's how I roll. So Capricorn. Because people feed off that stuff, guys. That is a thing. You're a natural leader. I'm telling you, this person doesn't like seeing you. Like, you took you took reins on your life and you started going towards your path here. There's something here about the way that you don't follow the crowds. Like, you, you stand ten toes down and you move forward. No matter what anybody says about you, you could care less. You know what you're doing and what you're not doing. You're a natural leader. You stand out from the rest. And there's something about a better connection showing up. Like, you know how to... Like there's something about your energy that just attracts new people towards you. So you rule somebody's heart. There's like the new and old energies watching you right now. Somebody's a heartbreaker. This is this past person. They think they're going to collect all these hearts and they're going to go run to someone else and they're going to keep your heart in this vase with the others. No, nah, we take our heart out. You can't have it anymore. We're done. We're not going to be part of your, your clown show anymore. That's what you're doing. This person's got many love interests. They're not ready to settle down. This past person plays too much. But they wanted to paint you out in this light. This person wanted to say that you were a heartbreaker. But how is that the case? Look at the way your life is. And they're still doing the same thing with other people. For some, they may have been through more than one person since you guys had a disconnect. Because this person likes, likes people. like They like their options. Tell me more. Commitment. Somebody's still going to choose you and the past is freaking out. So somebody really tried to fill your head that you guys were going to get married and you guys are going to have this long connection. And it was like they filled your head with a bunch of nonsense. And it's like they do this to other people as well. But now, like I said, the, the joke's on them because now you actually have somebody that wants to choose you. Like this new connection that you've been manifesting is going to be for you. And that's why this past person's panicking here. Even if you're on just by yourself and you're not wanting anyone right now, like this person's mindset, they know that someone's going to show up for you. They know that you're a catch. And this person's got some kind of battle wounds and they wanted you to keep continuing this battle with them. This is someone that wanted you to stay holding on to this hurt and this pain that they gave to you and you just you released it and you moved forward. This past person's got some kind of hurt that they're holding on to. That's why they do what they do, but you can't fix them. They have to fix themselves. So for some of you, not all of you, but for some, like you are showing this person, like it's almost like you're, you're, you're leading the way for them, especially like for the ones where this person's watching you. It's like you're, you're an inspiration. So that's beautiful. That doesn't mean take them back though. I'm all about forward movement, guys. I don't, I'm not one of those readers like, oh, go back to your, nah, we don't do that around here. We're going to address the elephant in the room. That's what I do. That's why the darkness tries to come for me because I, I like to battle that darkness. And there's that circus show I was just saying. Drama, out of control. This person wanted to do nothing but cause drama in your life. And they're like, man, this whole situation got out of control. Because now you're leveling up. You're following your bliss. And they ain't doing nothing to improve their life. They're, they're creating drama wherever they've been. And there's this union that you're meant to have with someone here. So... A divine mission that you have some for someone so there's something here about when you're going down this path for yourself and you're following who you are and you're growing and evolving there's some kind of union that's taking place for you for even for the ones that don't have someone new right now because that divine timing cards out like there's something showing up for you especially if you're if you throw out in the universe that I want better love I deserve better that's you manifested that you put that out in the universe so just know that you've got love coming towards you so some of you have it now. Some of you guys, it's it's headed your way. So trust in that divine timing in all areas of your life here. But there's some kind of blessed union that's meant to take place for you. you. Got divine love here. There's another card. There's something about your heart chakra being activated. Heck, all of your chakras have been activated. That's part of your growth. And you've got abundance. So there's something about you um, being able to attract finances towards you effortlessly as well here. Heart chakra activation. Absolutely. Beautiful. So... You're receiving some things. Your hope is rising. You, you want better. You deserve better. You know you um, deserve better. So that's why better is coming towards you. Capricorn. 
Well, somebody's trying to get you hooked here. So somebody likes to steal your ideal. So this past person likes to copy. Like, this past person doesn't have their own sense of self. And this is someone that will steal your jokes, copy your, your what you believe in, the, your mannerisms, like things that you do and say. And I keep getting for some of you, like this past person recruited more than one person to come and watch you and like make you feel bad about yourself. But you've got people that want to copy you just for my ones posting things in online in general. Like people like to steal your ideals and copy off of you. That's how much um, that your energy makes an impact here. We can't control people that want to do this to us, but we just keep it pushing. Like, you're authentic. You stand in your truth. You know, people want to copy you. Oh, well, let them do what they want to do. Don't look back on that stuff. Move forward. Don't don't pay it no mind. You're all about your growth and forward movement. Somebody is used to trying to hook and reel you and pull you back in with these emotions and something about your emotions being reserved and not reacting like this past person or anyone that was involved. They can't. They they want you not easily to be hooked anymore. Like you're over it. Tell me more. And I feel like this past person is also like this past person is trying to figure out a way like they have really been observing you. So it's almost like this person wants to like mirror your energy. There's something about what you believe in and what you're standing for at this time. That's another way to try to get you hooked back in because it's their mindset and what they're thinking here. This is a manipulator that will use emotions to try to pull you back. So wolf in sheep's clothing, acting like they got your best interest, but they don't. Like this is someone that would nothing, they would love nothing more to see you fall on your face, especially where you're at now in life. Like this is someone that's like, how dare you level up and do better? Like, so it's like someone went to tip, tip, tiptoe back into your energy and like try to ruin you from the inside. Don't let them do that. Yep, trying to come back and kiss your butt. This person could send a flower to your house, try to just gift you something, but they're going to try to come back and kiss your butt. Also, someone that doesn't like to be rejected, but it was okay by leaving you behind, making you feel rejected. This person doesn't want you to have anyone new either. They're trying to figure out how to get you to reject something new. They don't want you to have something new. Somebody's been digging dirt. Like, this is someone that wasn't able to bring up anything about the present on you. So, this person was trying to, like, dig up your past. We don't live in our past anymore. Like, that's not who we are. We outgrown that version of us. So that's another reason why I feel like this person's been panicking because if they try to use things that you've done in the past here, like it didn't like it, it didn't affect you. Cause again, it's like, even if like there was like, so it's almost like they had like little truths of things that was you've done in the past, but they took and they smeared it and ran it, uh, you know, made it worse than what it was. And again, you know what you're doing and what you're not doing. And you acknowledge what you've been through. You don't hide what you've been through. You use it to help others. That's why this person's like, again, it's with people's um, mouth on the floor. Like they are, their jaws drop. Like they can't believe what they're seeing. Like everything they try to do to destroy you, it's not working. Tell me more. No, look, you're hustling. Beautiful. Making it rain. Focused on your finances. Just really getting it. And they can't believe what they're seeing. Your light irritates this person's demons. Mm -hmm. Keep shining that beautiful light. So you could just have people that don't like you for no reason. So if this past person of yours know that somebody just kind of didn't like you, oh, they, they recruited everybody they could to try to come up against you. Keep shining that beautiful light. So if you're like me, people just don't like you for no reason. Oh, well. It's a cop blocker. This is somebody that's still trying to figure out how to, to get in the way of your love life. Definitely. This person doesn't want you to have someone new. You could be seeing hawks. Somebody's been looking in your comments to see who's commenting on things here. So this could even be new energies because I'm picking up new and past that's really observing you at this time. Somebody's getting, trying to get some kind of photo proof. Somebody's trying to like figure out exactly what you're doing, who you're talking to. It's like hard facts that somebody's trying to get in your life. Yeah, inside scoop. Someone is really all up in your business trying to see what you got going on because there's something about your silence with the past. Well, this past person ain't shh. They try to go around and say that you weren't nothing. Then why are you trying to come back? Somebody could have a lot of tattoos. Somebody could be a drawler here. But this person tried to say that you weren't nothing to them. Again, why are they trying to come back? Somebody is an opportunist. Somebody sees something about your life looking good here. This is like an opportunist trying to come back for you. Like this person thought, there's something about this person thought they was going to go run to someone else and they were going to get more out of it. And now they're looking back at your life and they're like, wait a minute, they chose wrong. There's something about your finances that this one's interested in. And now this person's in their head analyzing everything, trying to figure out the right way to, to get back in your energy again. But your growth is making it hard for this one to come towards you. 
Like this person doesn't want you to have anybody new, but oh well, that they don't make they don't dictate your life. They try to, but they don't got that power over you. Capricorn. Capricorn. This person's trying to come toward you with all these secrets, the things that they have said and done. There's something here about this person trying to figure out what all do you know. And they are definitely feeling like you're very secretive of it this time as well. They're trying to figure out your business here. So just continue moving in silence. Very prideful, very arrogant, very stubborn person. This is someone that doesn't like that you have pride for yourself. So continue showing up for yourself as you are. Love in who you are. Hope is rising. Your manifestations are coming in. This person is literally watching you evolve right in front of their eyes. And they can't believe what they're seeing. Beautiful. You never gave up on yourself. That's why you have these changes coming for you. Beautiful. This person's very shallow. Very empty. This is a user. This is somebody that tries to use people. So this person tried to paint you out as shallow. It doesn't make sense. Your character is outweighing what this person or these people were saying about you. This person's very shallow. They use commitments to, to gain things. Whether it's finances, they love, it's sex. Or this person uses people. And this person tried to paint you out as a shallow, the shallow one in this connection, but all of that's being aired out as well. Your growth is outweighing anything that was said about you. So some of you guys could have dealt with a marriage with this past person. But what this person tried to paint, out, paint you out as, it ain't adding up. You're loyal. You're trustworthy. You're reliable. When you say something, you're going to do it. Like you, you mean what you say and you say what you do. This person is so worried about a loyal offer coming towards you. If that's what you're manifesting for yourself, that's what you've got coming in. Because you know your worth. Well, this person's panicking. They're conflicted. And if this person if this person knows that you have someone new or if they knew that someone new was interested in you, this person's trying to get other like a new energy to look at you with a conflicted energy. So that's for some of you, not all of you. But this past person is conflicted right now because they know that you the loyalty is gone gone away with the past like you know that this person's not loyal so they're conflicted on how to approach you because your growth is like it's making it hard to come towards you tell me more tell me more see this person tried to push you away they didn't expect that this time was going to come where you push them away and when you're done you're done so they try to do everything in their power to control you but it ain't working tell me more and there's something about this person saying and doing the bare minimum to keep you hanging on to hope and that hope's gone your hope is rising because you took your power back and you're taking your life back day by day, trusting in that divine timing. Beautiful. Tell me more. And there's a better connection. Because you have been doing the inner work. You know you want better. You're trying to be your best self. That's why a better connection is coming towards you. And this past person is freaking out about it. This past person sees you at peace. You're balancing your life. You're in that harmonious energy. You're attracting that towards you. That's why this past person is trying to convince you have some kind of connection. And you very well do, but you've learned from it. You're ready to move forward. This past person may even try to use that friend card on you. But this past person wants to ruin things for you. Especially your love life. Well, this is someone that is now falling apart and in despair because you're no longer in this energy. They wanted you to be in this energy because you're easier to pull back in the cycle with them. And you're not doing that anymore. Good. I'm not letting this person deplete you, drain you emotionally, physically, financially for some of you. It was a long journey to get yourself out of this. So please don't repeat that. Trust your intuition with anybody that comes towards you, even new people. The universe will send us tests to make sure that we are red flag meters up. And, you know, somebody, if something feels off about somebody, it's because it is. So always trust your intuition and definitely trusting your intuition with this past person trying to come back. And there's something about your intuition that freaks this past person out as well. What person's trying to figure out how to use some kind of confusion towards you? They're confused about how you're even showing up at this time. You're making it hard for this person to come back, but that's good. That's what we want. We don't want to, to make past people have access to as easier. That's That shows your growth too. So, and if this person tried to paint you out in the bad lighting to others, it ain't adding up. Man, this person's very conflicted. Like, this person's when I first started, like, very nervous. This person's nervous. They are so nervous about the new version of you, but that's good. That's what you want to do. This is someone that tried to use this hot and cold energy on you, and all it did was shove them in the coldness, and you're now hot. You're attracting things towards you now. So... 
Now you got to enforce boundaries and keep those boundaries up and not go backwards because you're all about forward movement now. Capricorn. 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 Thank you. If you are feeling stuck in any area of your life, whether it is a job, relationship, or a situation, ask yourself, what is stopping me from leaving? Yes, leaving is scary, but sometimes it's the right step to take. Be brave. We are right beside you. Absolutely. This person thought that you was never going to walk away. So good for you. And if you're feeling like you need to leave in another area of your life, don't stay stuck. Trust your intuition. This new chapter in your life is going to require a new way of seeing things, a new way of seeing yourself. You can't continue to see and interpret things with the same understanding that you have had until now. No matter what you have faced or how you feel, see it all from a higher perspective. Beautiful. New chapters. If you want to be more successful in life, your priority should be to focus your mindset on all that you want to attract into your life. Trust that more is happening than what you can see. Many forces are at work in your favor. Allow them to help you. So that's two cards of forward movement. Focus on what you want to bring towards your life, which I feel like that's what you've been doing. But keep going out that mindset that you guys are in at this time. Beautiful. But you definitely have this past person. For some, more than one person, if this person grabbed people to get being involved in this, you're making people's mouths drop at this time. So keep doing that for yourself. There's definitely better love connections coming in for yourself. So just always trust your intuition with anybody that approaches you, though. All right, beautiful Capricorn, that was your guidance message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Light and love to you. See you Wednesday.